This is Toby. Yeah, you're full of you're full of them and bigger, aren't you? Yeah. Right now. Poor little guy. Just dropped him off. He said he should be ready by four, anywhere from four to six p.m. I kind of feel bad, uh, kind of tricking him into that little box and bringing him to the doctor. I had printed out and signed the forms and all that, so all that was taken care of. And the girl said, "I have one more question: If something were to happen during anesthesia, do you want us to do CPR on him?" And all kinds of thoughts went through my head. He was free. And he can be a handful, but he's my little buddy. So I said, yes. And they said, you want us to trip it, trim his toenails while he's under? And I said, is that extra? She said, no. And I said, yeah, go on, sure. I, was, I had meant to do it, and he's fine with toenail trimming. He doesn't mind that at all. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be nervous all day. I'm going to home, go home and clean up as much as I can. Get it really good smelling so Brian can't, can't say that there's any spray anywhere. I don't smell any spray. After he goes potty in the box, I can smell it. But when you leave the bathroom after a big dump, can't you smell it? Of course you can. But it just, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nervous. They said I can pick him up at 4. It's 10 after 3. I might be a little early and sit in the parking lot, poor little fella. <laughs> While he was gone, I cleaned up around here. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is clean. Took a shower, did some laundry, wiped all the walls down. And the thing that Brian said that was smelling was a pair of my pants that I didn't make it home on time to go to the bathroom, pee. And they were sitting inside the washing machine and it smelled the bathroom up. I know, TMI, but... It happens, okay? <laughs> I need to wipe the blades down on this because they get like greasy dust, which you always get when you're near a kitchen. I don't know if I'll do that today or... I mean, probably not. My leg's hurting again, so... Oh, poor little boy. Here I come. Poor little man. He's home now. He doesn't trust me at all. I don't blame him. He walks like his back is really hurting. And it, it is, probably, his little hind end. He's such a good boy. I bought myself, like, a, a knee brace thing. It's just basically Velcro and, I don't know, some kind of cloth. It's got a hole for your knee and padding around it. It does, it does feel better. Toby had something to eat. I think he's feeling a little bit better. They gave me some medicine to give to him for the next two weeks. Uh, so much, I don't know, I didn't look exactly at the instructions yet, but so much in this little syringe in the morning and 12 hours later at night. So in, like 7 in the morning and 7 at night, basically, is what I'm going to do. It's a pain relief uh, muscle. It, it's a... Uh, Basically, a nerve pain killer. I could use some of that. <laughs> well, what medicine? I didn't get any medicine. If I was good at sleight of hand. <laughs> Ow! Yes. I, I twisted my knee again today, so it just made it worse. That's why I picked up this knee brace thing at the store at Walgreens. 18 bucks. Uh, there was a kind that had little uh, stays on the side, metal or plastic or something. It was also 18 bucks, and this one's supposed to be adjustable and had a hole at the knee. So I thought, well, I'll try this one. And it seems to help a little bit. It still kind of smells in here. I don't think he sprayed anywhere. Of course, I had the the little uh, 
whatever it's called, air diffuser thing running today. I put orange and nutmeg drip drops of oil in there. It was okay. I have spaghetti carbonara for supper. And I have some leftover pancake cake <laughs> pancake pieces for the morning. I could hear Brian and the baby today. They were having a really good time. He the baby you can hear when he's not happy and when he's happy. He was talking away. Oh that blah 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 and it's so nice to hear that little baby so happy. He's such a good little kid. I, I'm, and he, he loves his dad. He loves Brian very, very much. Not that he doesn't love Mama, but Brian lets him watch cartoons <coughs> and things like that. He's a guy's guy. Spencer's a guy's guy. I did not do any artistic things. There's a little bit of sewing I could do, and there's some artwork that I want to and need to do before Felix and them come in. Uh, hey. Tomorrow's Friday, and I watch the baby again, and then the weekend. We'll see how that goes and how the cat's feeling and all that. I might get some of my artwork type stuff done. That's the only thing I really... And maybe prepare some meals for next week, but that's the only thing I really have to do. Next Tuesday, I go back to the dentist to get the stitches out. And the root to this one is broken down here. Taken out because there's an abscess forming down there. And uh, that's it. And my hands are hurting. I think it's going to rain again. It's been raining lately. But when it rains, they don't build, they can't build on that Amazon warehouse. They're, when it's raining, they're not building and I don't hear the trucks and the beep, beep, beep and all that. I mean, they're a mile away, but they might as well be down the street. You can hear it plain as day. But since it's been raining, they haven't been working on it, so. <sighs> I'm so tired. It's only 20 after 7. And I'm hurting, man. I'm hurting. My, this part right there. That knuckle, that where your thumb joins your hand, on both hands. I don't know why. Crazy. Well, the cat and I will be commiserating. Oh, here he is. Hey, little pumpkin. How are you feeling? Uh, he's feeling. He's glad he's home. Yeah. Upward and onward. <laughs>